What Langstroth gets credit for is visualizing this concept of bee space and apparently how it would work inside his colony. He called it his Eureka moment. Apparently he was behind a horse and wagon riding through a street, either in Ohio or Philadelphia, I'm not sure which, and he suddenly saw in his mind how these frames would hang inside a Langstroth style colony. And this opened the door. This opened the gateway. This is what Langstroth spent the rest of his life trying to defend his patent because once you see it, once one person saw it, it will take just nothing as long as this little video to let you see it too. Inside this beehive, everything has to be 5 sixteenths to 3 inches, 3 eighths inch openings. 5 sixteenths to 3 eighths inch openings. Anything less than 5 sixteenths of an inch, the bees are going to fill it full of this caulking compound, propolis, their natural caulking material. Anything greater than 3 eighths, and they're going to put comb in it. So every step of the way, as much as we could, every aspect of this has those size limitations in it. So if I pick up the inner cover, which is nothing more than a way for us to break that propolis seal, that outer cover has these lips on the side and it's more difficult to do. Then you can see this hole in the center for a handhold and for other things that go in there from a beekeeping standpoint. But what we want to look at is this 3 8 of an inch depth rim all the way around this inner cover. Now they, they will build it. This B space thing isn't perfect. I mean, it's just not like beautiful. They just completely acknowledge it. No, they build ladder combs. They're busy little bees up there doing what they can in this space that otherwise isn't worth much to them. On the back of the comb, you can see where they had attached combs from the tops of these frames. But, and I'll say this several times, you can still get them out. With a hive tool, you can break them and pry them out. So this is a flat board cover that goes on the inside under the cover that goes on the outside. The inner cover and the outer cover. So when I break this apart, then that exposes the inside of the nest where the bees live. Here, if I can pick this up and not send everything flying, you can tell that there is a 3 8 inch approximately, more than 5 16 short 3 8 all the way around here. So there's enough room for the bees to get up on top of these frames and walk around and do their bee business. If this were flush and that inner cover were flush, they would go crazy propolizing all those joints and sealing that in because they don't want pathogens at the, at the microscopic level and they don't want first instar, second instar insects, wax moth larvae, uh, small high beetle larvae getting up in there. They seal everything as much as they can so they can control it. So yet yeah, there's the lip. You can see in between each frame is about a 3 8 inch opening. So that when they want to come through, back and forth through here, so they can. That 3 8 inches opening is roughly what it takes for two bees to pass, to pass back to back or belly to belly or side to side. It lets two bees pass like a hallway wide enough for two people to meet and still keep going. That's what happens on the top. If I can turn it around and not drop it, you can tell that from behind there is some slop space on either side because quickly, like a year, a season, two seasons, the bees are going to build comb, attach it, and do whatever. It's like a time. This bee space concept is not absolutely perfect. One reason it's not perfect is because this is not high-end lumber, and even if it were in a beehive under normal moisture conditions, it would flex and twist and move. 
So that 5 sixteenths to 3 inch, 8, 3 8 inch opening is going to kind of wander around some. Normally, we'll see right here, that end bar sits closer, but there's roughly enough space for the bees to get up between that frame and that outside wall as it is here. There's certainly enough space on the side. Now, why is this space so much larger? Because the bees are going to build that comb out off that bottom frame until bee space matches along that side. So everything here has that space dimension between them. The only place that this touches, see if I can show you again, the only place that this frame touches a solid surface is right under this, this wedge here, this rabbit that's open, this, this cut that's here. It hangs right there, 3 sixteenths of an inch, and about 5 eighths of an inch down there because you've got to have a little bit of slop because the bees are going to propolize and work it in. You can't make it machinist tight. So there's going to be enough space all around when the bees build this up to make that work. When I put it back together, I'll have a 3 8 inch opening in the front, which is kind of ironic because that's not really so much for the bees as it is to keep out mice. But what this happens, uh, will sometimes happen is that this bees, depending on their biological nature, will put a lot of propolis in here and try to seal that off, probably for the winter. So this is 3 8 inches also. But there's a couple of more reasons for that to be that 3 8 inches there. This is what happens now. If Langstroth had not figured this out, surely someone would have, but had he not done it when he did, those who were using beehives without bee space arrangements at the time found themselves with a beehive that was cement block solid. So no matter what kind of frames you use, no matter what kind of frames you put in here, if you let them go two or three years and you tried to use an inner cover, this frame would break all to pieces before it would pull out. It's lightweight, all the frames were. So the beauty of what Langstroth worked out is not that it's absolutely machinist perfect, but that it's within a range of tolerance that the bees will accept. And then, using a hive tool, and using pretty regular maintenance, two, three, three times four is a, a lot of maintenance events four times a year, you can keep this hive opened and workable. But you need to know that they are going to add wax and they are going to add propolis and they are going to lock this hive up tight. But you can get it open, especially if you've done your beekeeping responsibilities and kept it maintained. This is the concept of bee space that was so critical that someone figure out how to make this work. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been where we are today on this beekeeping venture.